Is that right guys welcome back to my youtube channel once again guys today in this video we're gonna be working on how to create a verified gmb without pending review i mean how you can verify a gmb with your phone number without passing through pending review i received a couple of comments from a guy on uh on, on our youtube channel a guy who subscribed to our youtube channel who has been commenting over and over again that how can he get rid of pending review whenever he verify a google my business listing so guys in this video we'll be taking over everything one after the other and we'll be explaining it to you one after the other so all you have to do as you should are for you to watch this video to the end stay to the end so that you'll be able to understand it's all right guys and welcome back to my youtube channel once again guys as you can see i am on the google my business provide manager of a business called asab credit repair california and as you can see over here on this google my business this business is hundred percent verified i have shown you guys this business in one of my video one of, one of my previous video if you check into it as you can see guys this video is um currently on the google search as you guys could see it all over here so guys what uh, i am trying to illustrate now is that we are going to ignore this uh, google my business provide and try to create another one and after that we, we will try to see if we are going to skip the pending review and make sure our listing is verified automatically after we have input the verification code so guys now let us get At first all you have to do as usual is when you've logged in into your google my business provide manager like this um what you have to do is that you have to come down here to um to add a new business down there scroll down you have to scroll down down here then you can see businesses all right here so we, we, we're gonna click on on, on business so uh, click on the business so once you click on business it's gonna list the amount of business that you have on your google my business it's gonna list it out for you as you can see it on my screen so once that is done once you can see that the business is out like this so all you have to do is that click on this add business so i'm gonna click on the add business all over right here and i'm gonna be clicking on add a single business because this will be just a small example for you guys so what you have to do is to follow the steps that i've been showing in my video you can check my previous video or now you can create a gmb in 2022 um to verify it with your phone number without having a postcard shipping to your mail or something like that without all this books so once you're here what you have to do is that make sure you follow these steps so that you're able to understand guys once you're here do not click on add your business to the google directly don't do the mistake of clicking on that because if you click on that you will just be able to um type in your business name then you won't know if there is someone that has been using your business name before and then you might uh, uh, find yourself getting stuck on the long run maybe by um uh, by trying to get your business verified through postcard or trying to make yourself in a pending review on the long run as well so what you have to do is that as you can see this um type your business name over here make sure you type your business name over here so over here now i'll be using my own name my my brand name my new brand name as an example which is investor hyper rich so i'm gonna use that as an example for us as you can see this name is virtual ice pole rich is not used on the google my business before as you can see it's a new business using this name now will benefit me in some ways because first of all there's no one using this business i would be easily searched and found with my name on the google map as well on the google search engine result as well so i'm gonna be using this now let me try to click on this and click on the creator business with this mail so once you click that you will be moved automatically into the next session that you should choose a business category so over here i'm gonna create the google my business for my uh for my youtube you know so i'm gonna choose the category i make sure the category is on the educational level i mean it's on the educational category as well so let me try and choose that so over here now i'm using the educational center as you can see it's over here okay so you're gonna click on next so once you've completed the first and the second step that i show you in this video this will let google understand that you're not here to joke what i mean is that you're not here to play because right, right now on the google map there are so many businesses on the google map that, that are not real as for higher you we all know that almost 50 percent 60 percent of a business on the google map are not real 
So that is why Google has changed the policy day by day to make sure everything is straight because Google wanted legit things to be on the Google map. You understand? So over here now, do you want to have a location customer can put like a store or office like that? Over here, I'm going to click on no because this is not a physical something, you know, it is an digital stuff, you know, I I. I made a video online you guys watch it you comment i reply to your comment then i made a new video for you if you don't understand some stuff so i'm gonna click on next all over here so over here as you can see now it says where do you serve your customers it is optional so i'm not gonna use this um address as a as, an, as, a, as, a, as a whole so I'm, I'm gonna click on next as well so over here now google we have to ask something from us Google will ask, where are you based? Are you based in the United States? Are you based in the Nigeria? So over here, I'm, I'm going to be choosing as, as a Nigerian. But one thing I want you to prepare your mind is that Google will surely ask for your physical address. You know, what I, what I just did is that I, I tried to hide my address from the people over there that, okay, I, I hid my address. Nobody will be able to find my address on a Google map. But Google will ask for the address because Google will try to ship um, the postcard to my mail. But I won't be needed that in any way. You see how I'm going to take over it and make sure google doesn't try to send me any any postcard you know so now once i choose the nigerian so i'm gonna click on next so now google will ask for my um private address so i'm gonna tell google what the private address is and then so over here it is very important for you let me try to tell you guys it is very important for you to input your phone number and the current website url into this place it is very very important for you to do if you do not do this you might end up having an issue on the long run so let me try inputting my phone number sorry i will have to pause that video i don't want to show my numbers so now as you can see guys i have entered my uh, phone number and i have entered my website url sorry i enter my youtube url i know some of you have been looking at how the, the guy at the youtube google doesn't support this Google My Business goes against this. How do you add your YouTube URL to the Google My Business Manager? If you need a full details about that one, just drop your comments. I'll make another video about that. So over here now, we're about to verify our mailing address, which means I'm here to input my address, but will be hidden from the Google Map, which means anyone who search my business on the google map will find my business but will never see my business address so that is what i'm gonna do over here and that is what i think many of us on uh, uh that, that are dealing with google my business that we know a lot about it so guys to cut the long story short once i have added my uh my, my, my phone number my website url then i added my hidden address to it and youtube can see it let me try to uh, add it now so sorry i'm gonna pause this video as well i don't want to show my address so once that is done guys as you can see now i didn't have to verify the business now so once i verify the business this is gonna get rid of the pending review once and for all and everything is gonna be okay and everything's gonna be fine and my business is gonna be live on the google map as you can see so guys thank you for watching today's video if this video has helped you a little please subscribe to my youtube channel share this video with any of your friends who might be in need of help and um like this video drop your comments if you have any question i will reply to you immediately as you all know so guys we meet my next video stay home and stay yourself